Hey guys, I am Abhit Kumar and welcome to this video in which we are going to talk about date literals for Sokol query. In this video, we will see different types of date literals that we can use in a Sokol query. So without wasting any time further, let's proceed with the video. So Quill has a feature for comparing date values which is called date literals. Date literals are fixed string constants used to specify a date range. These literals work with date and date time fields. For example, yesterday starts with 12 am the day before and continues for 24 hours. Today starts with 12 am of the current day and continues for 24 hours and tomorrow starts at 12 am after the current day and continues for 24 hours. Last 90 days starts with the current day and continues for the past 90 days. This range includes the current day and hence includes 91 days in total. Next 90 days starts with 12 am UTC of the next day and continues for the next 90 days. Last n days colon n for the number of n provided start with the current day and continues for the past n days. Here you can provide any numeric value in place of n. Next n days colon n for the number of n provided starts 12 am UTC of the next day and continues for the next n days. Last week starts with the 12 am on the first day of the week before the most recent first day of the week and continues for seven full days. This week starts with the 12 am on the most recent first day of the week on or before the current day and continues for seven full days. Next week starts with the 12 am on the most recent first day of the week after the current day and continues for seven full days. Next n weeks colon n for the n provided starts 12 am UTC on the first day of the next week and continues for the next n weeks. Last n weeks colon n for the number n provided starts 12 am UTC on the last day of the previous week and continues for the past n weeks. n weeks ago colon n starts with the 12 am on the first day of the nth week before the current week and continues for seven full days. Now your locale determines the first day of the week. So depending upon whatsoever locale settings you have done for your org, the first day of the week will be decided accordingly. Last month starts 12 am on the first day of the month before the current day and continues for all the days of the month. This month starts 12 am on the first day of the month that the current day is in and continues for all the days of that month. Next month starts 12 am on the first day of the month after the month that the current day is in and continues for all the days of that month. Next n months colon n for the number n provided starts 12 am UTC of the first day of the next month and continues for the next n months. Last n months colon n for the number n provided starts 12 am UTC of the last day of the previous month and continues for the past n months and n months ago colon n starts 12 am on the first day of the nth month before the current month and continues for all the days of that month. Last year starts 12 am UTC on January 1st of the previous year and continues through the end of the December 31st of that year. This year starts 12 am UTC on January 1st of the current year and continues through the end of December 31st of the current year. Next year starts 12 am UTC on January 1st of the following year and continues through the end of December 31st of that year. Next n years colon n starts 12 am UTC on January 1st of the following year and continues through the end of the 31st of the nth year. Last n years colon n starts 12 am UTC on January 1st of the previous year and continues through the end of December 31st of the previous nth year. And n years ago colon n starts 12 am UTC on January 1st of the nth year before the current year and continues through the end of December 31st of that year. So it's pretty much of talk and now it's time to see the things practically. And guys, if you enjoyed the video, please give it a thumbs up and share it with your friends. And if you want to stay updated with proper Salesforce tutorials and want to watch more tutorials, 
make sure to subscribe to our channel and press the bell icon also if you have thoughts or question drop it in the comments i would love to hear from you and promise i will read every single one thank you so much guys and now you can proceed with the video hey guys welcome to the practical session of date literals for so cool so date literals are some big string constants that we can use with date and date time fields and to work on that what i have did is in the opportunities records i have changed few dates actually i have changed few closing dates for them so let me show you the result of it with the date literals query so you can see i am fetching id name amount and close date from opportunity let me click on execute and here you can see those 31 records now i want to filter down according to the close date so here we will use the date literals with the close date so where close date is equal to and i can mention yesterday yesterday is a date literal that you can provide over there so all the opportunities whose close date was yesterday will be shown here so you can see these two today is 22nd of march 2024 and it is showing me two opportunities whose close date is yesterday similarly you can mention today and these are the two whose close date is today and you can mention tomorrow as well so this is the opportunity whose close date is tomorrow other than yesterday today and tomorrow we have date literal for days so where close date is equal to last 90 days and execute so these are the opportunities whose close date is among last 90 days it is taking from today itself if i mention next 90 days then it will not consider today but it will consider from tomorrow onwards till the next 90 days while mentioning days we can use last n days as well so when we are using last n days after colon we have to mention how many number of days for example if i mention last n days 200 so it will take the close date for the last 200 days so whenever we are making the query for last it will consider current date or today as well okay similarly you can mention next n days and execute so these are the words other than days you can work with week as well so last week you can mention this week and similarly you can mention next week so when you are mentioning week it is taking from the first day of that specific week now just like we are having a last n days next n days here we have next n week and last n week as well where you can mention the specific number of weeks over there so next n week sorry weeks and here you have to mention the number of weeks so let's suppose 20 weeks if we go for 100 weeks it is coming from the next year as well right similarly you can go for last n weeks and you can go for n weeks ago now the first day of the week is actually determined by the locale setting of your org so depending upon the locale setting of your org the first day of the week is decided now other than week we can also use month suppose we can mention last month this month or next month so like i am using last month so the current month is actually march so it will show for february there is only one uh, and if i will use next month it will show for april and if i will use this month it will show for march just like last end days next end days last end weeks are there there is an option of next n months or last n months or n months ago in this situation you need to mention the number of months for example if i mention next n months and let me mention 24 months so it will be equal to two years right so it's going up to 2025 and if i go for last n months with 24 it will also take for two years back now just like month we have year option as well we can use last year this year or next year if i'm using last year you can see it is showing for 2023 if i am using this year it will only show for 2024 and if i use next year it will show for 2025 similarly you can mention next n years last n years as well and mention the number of years that you want to mention so if that date or that year would be there it will definitely show now. so these are the various types of date literals for soql which you can use on any date field or date type field that marks the end of this video see you soon in the next video till then thank you and take care